Howdy folks and welcome back to Subtle Duck Gaming. I am your host for today, Ducky, joined by my older brother, the amazing Mr. Subtlety. And once again we are playing the wonderful, wonderful West of Lowlight. Don't you mean the legend of Beefisto? No, I don't. A few hundred yards up the trail, you see a solitary skeleton trudging towards the northwest. It doesn't seem to have noticed you, or anything else, really. Bite it! Oh, this is easy enough. Hey, got another gold tooth. Nice. Alice is really checking out those boners. Wonderful commentary. Oh, like you're that much better. Yes. Alright, let's see what she's got. Oop, pickaxe. I'm nowhere near enough. Um. Oh, can I sell? Probably not enough to actually buy a pickaxe or a hammer. Is there eating and drinking? Is he foraging? Be nice too. Got some nice skill books. Yeah. Got a lot of things we could really use. Ah, just sell it. Okay. Sell these two. I wonder if some of these are actually used for anything. Maybe you want to wait and find out? Yeah, I'm only, I think I'm only going to sell the things that specifically say, just sell it. Like this one. Because if it has, if it specifically says, just sell it, that's got to mean, that's got to mean something. And what I would assume it means is just sell it. What if the game is trying to trick you? All in all, I don't think this is the kind of game that would do that. Although, I don't. <laughs> Novelty rubber pickles. Fantastic. Actually, re equip ourselves a bit. Mus muscle, mix, mysticality, and moxie versus. Eh, I think I'll keep the old wedding ring. I mean, the nasty ring. I'm not wearing the old wedding ring. Oh, wait. What's this one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll keep the nasty ring. Uh. The filthy porcelain cow I'm currently using, right? Yep. So, melee attack damage, spell damage. Moxie. Porcelain cow is the thing I'm gonna keep. Knuckles. Ooh. Ooh. Gonna use one of your ancestors' boners to fist your enemies. Now you're just stretching for it. That's all we need from here. Now that you've been elected Pope, what are you gonna do? Well, I mean, the obvious thing is I need to go back to, uh, Gustafsson Gulch. Now that I've actually got the intimidation. You see a streak of fire blast across the sky and land just over the horizon. You ride up to the side of the impact and find a meteor. Holy cow! 
That pun was so terrible, I nearly died. Still with that, look at how much meat it gave me. Oh yeah. Talk to him. I'll muscle him. You roll up your sleeves to show your bulging arm muscles. The goblin's either unimpressed or doesn't realize the menacing gesture. So you pick him up and toss toss him over the wall of the gorge. What the? I guess I'm pretty strong. Says nothing interesting. Library. Delicatessen? Delicate. Deli delicatessen. That's what I think that says. Why don't you just kick down all the doors and. Because punch I'm, everyone inside. Because I'm trying to make it like a. Uh, like a spy and get in unseen. Uh, well, aside from the mayor, I just threw over the court. <laughs> Red herring storage. There's probably something good in there. Mayor's house. <laughs> Theater. Oh wow, these guys have a big village. Cafe. Guard barracks. <laughs> yeah, let's go in there. Treasure cave. This door remains locked at all times. I want to go get that uh, book now, but I still am short of money. Moses. Okay. Theater. Just kick down all the doors there and start can. punching people. Mayor's house. You don't hear anything inside of here. The shack contains a desk and a bed. Let's investigate the bed. Made of cactus logs with a blanket made of woven together cactus needles. That can't be comfortable. Check out the desk. The desk is strewn with folders. You notice one that says important secrets in it. You learn a variety of secrets, though only ones that are actually pertinent to your circumstance is that there's a spare key to the treasure cave in drawer 69105 in the storage hut. Nice. Useful. Check red herring storage. Oh, shoot. You hear a couple of goblins rustling around in here. Sounds like they're doing something really important. They humping. Get in there and give them a fist. And... Ah, the gulch goblin fish wizards. They're nowhere near ready. I guess technically you're giving them a bonus. He just whipped out his fish and smacked you across the face with it. You gonna take that? No, I'm not. Got one. He just fish slapped you again. <laughs> you gave those fishmongering goblins what for? And it, oh. It was, uh, for red herrings. Now you should be so angry that these goblins dared to fish slap you. You just chain kick open all the doors and start boning everyone in this village. No, I'm, I'm more just, uh, pleased with their, uh, red herring pun. I'm gonna smack you with the fish. There's no sound coming from inside. The shack is filled with thousands of tiny cabinets, each labeled with a number and goblin. Let's, uh... Take everything. I'm digging around. Random drawer. Oh, wow. Gulch goblin lollipop. Goblin sandwich. Can... Can I just keep taking stuff? Yes. Rolled up hands. Let's look in an even, even randomer. Oh. Look at the random drawer. Or the more random drawer. Oh. Okay. Oh. See if you've stolen everything. Looks like I've stolen everything. 
That was kind of sad. I might have wasted my chances with the, uh... With, uh, the less. your boner yeah, nice and meaty, and then you smack him on the face with it. I yeah, didn't do enough damage, but... You gonna let him take a shot at your old lady? You sure didn't. You dig through the crates, the goblin is rum rummaging through, but there's nothing interesting in any of them. Holy, guess they're being honest about these. Still, I think it's best that you just kill everyone. Hmm. Pick it! I only have one! Pick it. Oh, fine. I got three goblin sandwiches. What a great use of that lock pick. You made money on that transaction. Did I? Oh wait, this is the... Oh yeah, this is storage. So this is red herring. Mayor's house. Damn right! No, let's head backstage first. Sneak backstage and watch the goblin play from behind. From behind a curtain. Not only is it in go the, a goblin version of Hamlet, it's also been rewritten as a one-man show. To be, to being, or not to being? Oh, that is a question. <laughs> Could it better thinking to suffering a crazy things and arrows, or fighting so many bad things for stomping them? Because fighting, to dying, to sleep, to sleeping, hey. Dreaming, maybe, but oh problems. If dreaming crazy uh, when living, what dreams having after dying? Wow. Pretty weird, probably. Nice. That's a, that's a sword fight with themselves. Now go in there and break his leg. Nah. No, let's just uh, mosey on over to the... Big pussy. Oh, whatever. Goblins paying more attention to their book goblin than you, and you're pretty sure you're. Uh, you aren't. But you're pretty sure you aren't, aren't gonna, gonna be... just be waltzing on by. Oh, whatever. Spoil the ending. You fuck. Hey, goblin, good book. What thinking about how Horatio is the only surviving one at the end. Everyone else dying, poison, sorting, plow, blam. <laughs> ah, no, wow, spoilers. You are the biggest douchebag on earth. What's <coughs> this guy's doing? Guard is whistling, uh, whittling a little wooden bird call. They're not too busy to beat you up if you try to get past them. Missed him. Or I guess bone him. Ooh, these guys are a little tough. So, start off with the keep up. And... Start with the haymaker. Always good to start off with a good old fashioned stun. Ow. She just got knocked the fuck out. Start with the spider bladder. Try to just knock one out. You jizzed on it. More or less. She can knock you the fuck out. No. Not that much. Uh, I think I'm gonna lose this one. If 
only you had listened to my advice and kicked open all the doors and fisted everyone inside. Yeah, I don't think that would have helped. It would have given you more XP. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that wouldn't have helped. You are defeated. You were so angry about losing that fight that you pass out. You wake up in a heap in front of the jewel and dirt water. Now Gallus must have carried you back after you got knocked out. You're a little sore, but otherwise, uh, but not any otherwise any worse for wear. You're pretty hungry though, and sober. This is the part of the legend that we won't tell your grandkids. Alright. Uh, it's actually been some of this, because I forgot I got so much from that last event. Uh... Let's see. Go ahead and increase grit. Muscle. Um... How does it feel, little bro? Well, he's bound to lose at least once. That looks like he's in a lot of pain. You okay, buddy? I'm pretty sure my leg is broken, so no. What happened? Traffic accident? No, it just sort of broke all of a sudden. I guess I don't get enough vitamins or whatever. Good nutrition can be difficult in this day and age. I'm gonna need some medicine for this. Can you help me? Sure. Thank you. There's a mission up north. The nuns run a little hospital. Sell medical supplies. Can you give me some broken leg pills? Broken leg pills? Is that a thing? Yeah, that's a thing. I don't have any with me. Sorry. Huh. Okay, coming up. Where is this place? There we go. Oh, nice. Coming cave. Good, you can get a little XP so you can actually do some work. Looks like she's trying to weigh me down. Howdy, Alice. We're nearing Fort All Dead. I heard there's some serious necromantic activity uh, there. We should take a look. It sounds pretty sinister. What is it? Well, pretty much just what it sounds like. It's an old army fort where all the soldiers died. Except the rumor is they're still walking around there. Did they name it Fort All Dead before they all died? No, originally it was uh, called Fort Just Fine. Uh, Am I forgetting about anything? Thanks oh. for the reminder. Chin blossoms. Nuns! Gosh, a real life nun? Er, yes. I'm Sister Tabitha. I'm B. Fisto. Leon Which Hickok. All the gods. Well, with what. What with the cow attacks and so on. I felt my faith would be better served by running this place as a clinic rather than just a church. I also sell medical supplies if you'd like your healing to go. You need any errands run or anything? Funny you should ask. I've been experimenting with the healing properties of the purple grass that grows near here. I've run out. Would you mind picking some for me? It grows near a cave that makes an unusual humming sound. Oh, sure. I think I know the place you mean. Ah, dang. Ah. <laughs> well, dang. That's messed up. 
Okay, broken leg pills. Uh, I'm just gonna go do her mission fully. Mostly so you can cheap out. Reach for the sky, clown! You quickly turn around and see a grizzled looking man in all black clothes except for his hat. Which is white with brightly colored spots. He's pointing a gun at Who are you calling a clown, jerk? Hmm, it's true. You don't have clown a clown's markings. Hmm. I have no idea what you're even talking about. The man strides up to you, uncomfortably close, and inspects your face. It seems I was mistaken. Be on your way. No, I think you owe me an explanation. I'm a clown hunter. The lighting here is poor, and I mistook you. No other explanation is necessary. How about starting with, a, with what the hell a clown hunter is? You hunt clowns? Yes. Are we talking about the same thing here? The guys in white face paint and funny clothes and run around in rodeos to distract the animals? Huh. <laughs> Those are no real clowns. Wait. Are you talking about the old stories? The stuff about how clowns and cows were at war in hell and rodeo clowns dress up that way because it's like a reenactment? I am. Are you saying that's real? There really are demon clowns, and you're hunting them. I will not rest until they are erased from our lands. What should I do if I run into one? Don't let them take you alive. He turns around with the flap of his leather duster and disappears into the trees. Spooky. Though not as spooky as the thugs that that there might actually be demonic clowns running around out there. Well, you know what they say. They all float down here. Well, I suppose if I'm supposed to be good at uh, killing uh, demon cows, better be just as good at killing demon clowns. I don't think anyone in the history of anything has ever said that. Hmm. I can... Uh... Nice. Always good to get a, bit of, a little bit of XP. Your line. Wow! What is that thing? It's teleporter. You may want to touch the. It appears we're in a alien spaceship. Take the thing. Range stone arrow. Can't see much more to do here. I would see what that arrow is for before you leave. Let's see. Is it... Why is there no order to any of this? This is just everything. There you go. Strange stone arrow. This triangular object made out of strange stone like material. Chopped through with channels of smooth black glass. I don't think we're gonna find the answer to that just yet. In fact, I don't think we're gonna find the answer to that in this episode. Cause that's the end of this episode, folks. Thank you all so much for joining us here on Soul of Death Gaming. I've been your host for today, Ducky, joined by my older brother, the legendary Beefisto. We hope you've all had a very good time, and we hope to see you all in the next episode. See you, everybody.